It's Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge for the Game Boy Color from 2000. Not to be confused with Frogger 2 3 Deep on the Atari 2600 or 5200. It's a completely different game. I have both, and to be honest, I'm not sure which I like better, because they're both excellent, but Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge has the worst subtitle ever. Swampy's Revenge. That sounds like something that you would like to avoid. Like, dude, I, I just had this really nasty burrito and got Swampy's Revenge for the Game Boy Color. Why are you running away? It's Frogger 2. It's really fun. It's also on the PlayStation and the Dreamcast. As of this review, I have not played the other versions of the game, but it's a really nice Game Boy Color game. I think this was from the generation of Frogger games when they were all 3D, but as you can see, this one is 2D. So it has a really nice old-school feel to it, traditional Frogger style, with a variety of different levels and environments, but we're only going to see a few of them here because this is the first time that I've ever used my alcohol, rubbing alcohol and Q-tip trick to clean a game and have erased the memory. So I started over from the beginning for the review here, but it's a fun game, so that was no problem. So you pick your character and embark on a Frogger-tastic journey that will test your Frogger skills. As you not only try to make it through each level, but also collect all of the diamonds or gems or whatever they are on each level for points. So unlike the original, you're not trying to land five different frogs into five different lily pad parking areas. You just need to get your frog from point A to point B without dying, scoring as many points as possible, and then progress through the game from there. It's very straightforward and very well done. We're watching footage here recorded from the Game Boy Player on the Nintendo GameCube, which gives a softer image, but that's why I cleaned the game cartridge, because they have to be perfect to work in that thing. As this is a Game Boy Color game, it will not work using the Super Game Boy on the Super Nintendo. The earlier footage that we watched was recorded using my Game Boy Advance SP, which is the preferred way to play Frogger 2. It's a great game to take with you on the go because it's Frogger anytime, anywhere. Bring that Swampy's Revenge with you. As you may have noticed earlier from the level select screen, there's a variety of different environments. The first one looks like this, like the old school Frogger. Crossing a road and river, Frogger cannot swim, even though he's a frog. It's just a kick-ass game, and it plays really well on the Game Boy. I, I'm intrigued. And I would like to see the Dreamcast version next, to, to see if that 3D effect gets in the way. Because that, that style that they were using around 99-2000 for some of these classic arcade games usually didn't make them better. But until I see it, I can't say for sure. One thing is for certain, this game is super duper cheap, easy to find, and it's really fun if you have a Game Boy Advance or an old school Game Boy Color. Frogger 2 is perfect for Frogger fans on the go. Just don't play it while you're trying to cross the road. Or hopping from log to log in a river with alternating currents. 